Topping news, the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Tourism Investments and Aviation highlighting the significant advancements in the redevelopment of the Grand Bahama International Airport. While preliminary work is nearly complete, the Aviation Minister says construction is expected to begin soon. In this report, Raven Davis tells us more about the progress and what's to come. Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable I. Chester Cooper is expressing continued optimism regarding the redevelopment of the Grand Bahama International Airport. Highlighting the substantial progress achieved so far, he details ongoing preliminary work and says that actual construction is set to begin soon. We want to ensure that we've lined up the ducks and uh, when it starts, it, it's going to move quickly. Uh, we're looking forward to the completion of a, a new terminal. Uh, as well as the capacity to have the return of, of pre-clearance to, to the island of Grand Bahama. But there's a lot of technical work involved that's uh, being done, and you should see progress very soon. He says the new terminal is expected to be completed by 2025 with hopes to move in shortly after. We've begun a lot of the uh, preliminary work, uh, the demolition of the interiors of the, the old uh, U.S. terminal. Uh, we have been presented with some significant uh, opportunities around cargo, uh, so we're recalibrating in terms of what we do with that building now, uh, given the pre presentation of the new possibilities and the opportunities to develop Grand Bahama as a as a cargo hub. These are very active uh, conversations. He also noted that the new terminals will be located on the eastern side of the old domestic terminal and will incorporate sustainable features. Uh, it will be elevated uh, to, to, to really protect against uh, flooding and there will be some flood uh, attenuation basins, what they call it technically. Uh, there are going to be some runoff and some uh, some trenching to, to ensure that the, the flooding is, is managed. Further remarking on the positive progress being made, the Deputy Prime Minister notes that the overall exteriors and runways of the airport are in good condition. He also adds that civil works is forthcoming and notes that a new control tower which has already been designed will be constructed and supervised by the Air Traffic Control Authority. For the Bahamas tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Raven Davis.